Hello students. Now we move on to solving the model paper 5 that was given as GT5. So on to the solutions of model paper 5. Initially to begin with, let us handle question number 7. Here, which of the following correctly depicts the dental formula of the child? We have to be aware students, molars are not present in the milk dentition. So in this formula which is represented this way, molars represent the last one that is the option that has zero. So we move on to option B. Later, we are also familiar that milk dentition contains only 20 teeth. So let us see this. So this component which is given as 2120 by 2120 represents the dentition on the upper jaw if you have taken one half of the upper jaw comprises of 2120 similarly the other half similarly in the lower jaw as well as the other half of the lower jaw so that makes it 2120 that is a four times that makes a 20 teeth that is 2 plus 1 3 another 2 5 5 into 4 20 times so our option is option B students option B as we move on to the next question question number 8 here study carefully the given floral diagram and select the options which correctly represent the related formula let us see the floral formula to understand the floral formula let us see the floral diagram as you observe here this circle represents a calyx represented made up of sepals the next world represents a corolla made up of petals to which are attached the stamens within which is a gynaecium to begin with option a as we move on to option a as you observe the floral diagram we understand this flower is radially symmetrical that is actinomorphic and a radially symmetrical flower is represented with a plus sign within a circle so but the option a has a percentage sign that is representing the zygomorphic so that's not the option as we move on to option b regarding the symmetry it's right but as we move on to calyx that is united k5 within brackets but corolla is represented as c5 without the bracket that means but we are we, that means they are not united according to the formula but the petals are united so this option is also wrong because of corolla as we move on to option c yeah the symmetry wise it is uh, actinomorphic it is a bisexual flower bisexual flower but what represents here p 5 plus 5 is represented. P represents a perianth, which is a characteristic feature of monocots. So, but the floral diagram does not represent that it is a uh, monocot because sepals and petals are clear, whereas in monocots, uh, sepals and petals cannot be different, differentiated. They represent the tepals forming the perianth. So, this option is wrong because of the perianth which is given here. So we come to the last option that is option D which, which is right that is it is a flower which is actinomorphic which is a bi bisexual flower calyx in a fused condition yes the sepals are fused corolla in a fused condition yes the petals are fused which is joined to the androsium that is uh, the androsium which is joined and gynaecium which is a superior with the two locules. So our option is option D. As we move on to the next question students, match the column 1 components in column 1 with that of column 2. As we move on to this question, we see here boron. Boron is a very important component which promotes pollen germination. So let us connect what we know boron onto pollen germination. As we move on to the next, that is molybdenum and iron are the components of nitrogenous. So we have molybdenum which are forming the component of nitrogenous. So we connect it to the next option. Further, we are also familiar that zinc is, takes a very important role in oxygen synthesis. The more the concentration of zinc, more is the synthesis of oxygen. So we connect this. As we move forward, iron is a very important component of the 
ferrodoxin. So we have all the options except manganese connected. Manganese we should remember that it's a very important component in the oxygen evolving complex. So splitting, taking a role in the splitting of the water molecules. So which is the option? So that is option A, that is connects A with foam, that is boron with pollen germination, manganese with the one that is splitting of water, C, molybdenum with component of nitrogenase, zinc synthesis of oxygen as well as iron, the component of ferrodoxin. So our option is option B students. As we move further to the next set, Question number 23. In this question number 23, we need to see the options. So what is labeled A? A represents epidermis. That's represented as epidermis. But what is represented as B? That is very close to A is present B, which is actually pericycle. So what we have to observe is in, the, in option A as we look, A is not epidermis. So it is wrong because of epidermis. So that cannot be happening. Next, as we go on to option B, what we see is uh, A is represented as endodermis. That may be right, but B is represented as cortex, uh, very close to cortex, the, uh, very close to endodermis, the cortex cannot be present. So because of B, the option is wrong here because of cortex. As we move on to option C, right, as we see A is endodermis. B is pericycle, C is a protoxylum, right? D is metaxylum, right? E is phloem, right? F is conjunctive tissue, that's right. So option C is right. But still let us see option D. In option D, what we have to see is epidermis and endodermis. Epidermis is A and B is endodermis. Then where is the cortex gone? So because of which option D also is wrong. So our answer is option C students. As we move on to next question, question number 42. Here we need to identify that. To determine the genotype of a tall parent of F1 generation, Mendel crossed this plant with the dwarf plant of F2 generation. This cross represents. Yeah, definitely it is a back cross. But precisely, this is a, more precisely, it is a test cross because here we are talking about dwarf plant. Dwarf plant means recessive individual. And that is why test cross is right than back cross. If you are moving on to reciprocal cross, definitely it is not reciprocal cross. And a tall and dwarf is not a dihybrid cross. So the option is option A. Thank you.